Labrador Retrievers are one of the most popular dogs in the United States. The desire to have this at home is based on many factors, like its friendly behavior and outgoing attitude. However, if you're also planning to have this dog breed, you should know the Labrador Retriever's pros and cons in detail. Thus, you'll be able to track your progress to achieve your goals as a Labrador dog parent and take the best care of it. Pedopedia. First, let's check out the pros of having a Labrador Retriever. Labradors are extremely popular for their pleasant personalities. They are not naturally aggressive and have always been friendly and social. In addition, they possess a strong emotional connection with humans, which makes them effective support dogs. According to the American Kennel Club, these dogs have outgoing personalities that make them ideal companions. And most of the time, you will find them with a smiley face, which makes them adorable pets. So, it can be a good choice as your first dog. These playful dogs are very affectionate to their owners and will entertain your kids while you're not around. Also, if you're living alone, this furry friend will welcome you with a smile and cuddle whenever you enter your home. You'll be happy to know that labs love to learn new things. These dogs are intelligent enough to train quickly. According to the list of intelligent dogs, Labradors are listed 7th most intelligent dogs. For example, except for the Labrador, every dog won't start sitting 5 minutes after you've taught him the sit command. You'll need to follow one rule to train them fastly. Repeat your command at least five times to let your lab catch it. As this dog is not stubborn and very loyal to their owner, your Labrador will happily obey your command. As we've said earlier, Labradors are a fun-loving, playful dog breed. And that makes it a great choice to have as the first pet for your kid. In addition, this dog is patient and won't scare your kids with barking or aggressive behavior. Still, it'll be better to watch them while playing with your kids. If you live in an apartment, you can choose a Labrador as your pet dog. Labrador retrievers can live in apartments if they get the necessary exercise and play outdoors. It's a good dog who can live with you almost wherever you want. Since an adult, Labrador is medium to large sized, it won't need too much space to live. Instead, this lab dog fits almost all potential requirements. And these furry babies don't bark, so they won't disturb you or your neighbors with any noise. From an overall perspective, this breed is generally considered healthy. However, if you want to be a responsible dog parent, it's your responsibility to screen for hip dysplasia and elbow issues. This breed can also suffer from heart conditions, muscle weakness, and eye conditions. In addition, young adults can also suffer from exercise-induced collapse. However, these minor issues can be examined with a simple visit to your vet. Just follow the instructions correctly and take good care of your lab. It'll stay with you for a more extended time. Whereas some dogs live for only 7 to 10 years, Labradors can live for approximately 14 years or more. Even though a Labrador has some cons, that shouldn't deter you from getting this wonderful dog as your pet. You will be better prepared to handle any challenges you might come across with owning a lab. Learning about the downsides may help you to be prepared. So be it forewarned and you will be armed. If you're a tight scheduled person, think twice before getting this dog. Labrador needs at least 30 minutes of exercise to keep it healthy and active. Especially, it's highly needed for your lab puppies. So try to get some time to take the best care of your little friend. Grooming a Labrador is one of the responsibilities of any pet parent after owning a puppy. Even with their shorter coats, Labradors shed. However, these dogs have thicker winter coats that come out during the spring months. So, unfortunately, you will see fur start flying everywhere when you need to comb out your dog's old coat. But if you brush your dog weekly, this will reduce shedding. Labrador dogs might develop hip dysplasia. It happens when the hip joint isn't formed accurately. As a result, it can cause pain and rash in the joint. This condition is inherited within this breed, and whenever your dog starts showing these issues, your veterinarian fees will start growing. Plus, dogs with hip dysplasia won't be able to play actively or do hard exercises. All dogs might have a bit of a doggy odor because their skins produce natural oils, 
that tend to smell with time, but these dogs inherently make more oil than other dogs. So, it would be best if you bathe your Labrador dogs regularly. If you're sensitive to doggy odor, having this dog might not be good. So, these are the Labrador Retriever pros and cons you need to know. Hope you have found this video insightful and let us know in the comment section which fact you liked about Labradors most. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, and share this video if you find it useful. Then, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further updates.